Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome back to Production Line. Uh, we are, oh, we are hanging on by the skin of our teeth here. Oh, so close to losing money. Oh, every time we sell a car, that brings us back from the brink. But if we go broke, we are out. There is no forgiving uh, going below zero dollars in this game. So we better not do that. Now uh, we are slowly creeping back up from uh, a financial disaster uh, which is good um, you know I probably shouldn't be so greedy I'm actually going to reduce the cost of this just so I can get myself some breathing room uh, because they sell very quickly at 35% markup they do not sell as quickly at a 40% markup um, I think even that kind of a breathing room is probably going to be enough I could put it back up to 40% and we can deal with a little bit of a slowdown in our sales um, so we've got import priorities not really sure what that allows us to do. Uh, we should set up a new research. Um, so I was thinking about researching the door, um, the door breakdown, but I, th well, it is pretty reasonable. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way because we, but we do want to start researching some technologies first. Um, uh, so what does this mean? Competitors usage. Ah, good. All right. So that's handy. We can see. So it's common on luxury vehicles. Yeah, that's not good. Um, all right. So that means we definitely need to start researching those things that are common. So we've got two common features here in the convenience features and two that are getting there in the environmental and two in the security as well really got our work cut out for us. Let's go ahead and go for uh, convenience features and then uh, we'll go with uh, with these ones here. Um, and we should be able to do those without having to uh, door specialization, accessory specialization. Great. Now, oh, we don't have door specialization, so we are going to need that as well to get the electric windows. Um, oh, door specialization for those also? Okay, uh, so we're gonna need to get door specialization. <laughs> that's that's surprisingly useful, but that's good because that's what we wanted to get anyways. So um, is that no? We got okay. Add to queue. Great. Okay. Leave that alone. Uh, Twenty thousand dollars. So how? What happened to our? Didn't we have forty grand? Oh, we are not selling cars anymore. Okay. We're going to reduce the price to 35%. We're going to leave it there. That seems to be the magic number for us. They sell pretty quickly at 35%. They don't sell at all at 40%. So uh, I've learned my lesson game. This is not the old version where you could set prices super high and then just chill. Um, so I can see where our bottleneck is right now. It is at this area. So I'm going to spend some of our precious money uh, risk additional bankruptcy by putting in a second dry finish spot right here. Yes. Yes, that will work. Uh, oh, but I keep forgetting that the thing that really is going to be slowing us down is the uh, is the uh, the one that comes a little bit further ahead here. So uh, it's uh, this one. This wheel assembly is, is also going to be slowing us down. So what I just sped up was kind of pointless. Well, we don't have an additional wheel assembly thing. So let's get ourselves up to eighty or $90,000 on that. We're going to definitely want to upgrade those with the uh, predictive ordering or whatever the heck, whatever the heck those things are. Um, so we won't have to, oh boy, uh, money is getting very tight here. Um, yeah, I need to keep an eye on the clock because if we hit the next hour, actually I'm going to got to keep reducing that price, which is a shame, but we need to sell a few cars or else we are going to be in big trouble. Actually, I'm not, I can't wait anymore. Got to take this loan. It's too bad. But the good news is, now that I've borrowed a bunch of money, we can spend it. What's the what's the use of borrowing money if you can't spend it, right? Uh, this is a fit wheel assembly. 
So we can throw another one of those bad boys in there. We can connect that up like that. And connect you up like that. Close that down. Give you guys your predictive stock control. Nice. Now... Um, all right, that's it. Oh wait, configure imports? Now nah, that doesn't help. Okay. No route to stockpile. Okay, I can, I can fix that real quickly. And uh, I'm gonna have to stop spending money because like our loan payments are higher than they were. Boy, um, the uh, market for our car seems to have completely dropped out. Um, Sales per hour, produced per hour. Got it. We are overproducing on our budget sedan here. Uh, so we are going to have to lower the price on that thing uh, to be able to keep selling them at the rate that we're producing them. That's a bummer. Uh, I think that we're going to do all right. We'll put it at 15% and see what happens. But we've got three sitting in our stock room. And it may be that we need to... Ah, there we go. Now we're down. We're, we're on the down side now. Uh, Maybe that we need to do some marketing, perhaps? Which would require some research and additional expenses. Uh, but look at this. We are we are getting, uh, getting slightly ahead of ourselves on this, which is good. We're clearing out that backlog. And up here, we are... I saw a slight gap in this backlog. There we go. So we are clearing up that backlog as well. So that's that's good. If we're clearing up these backlogs. That means we're doing well. And get in here so we can get a uh, interesting uh, screenshot or two uh, that I can look at for making a uh, making a cover of our game here. Hmm, I really wanted the orange and the blue cars. There we go. zoom out a little bit maybe I can get more cars in it it's too bad there's maybe there is a thing to hide the uh, hide the UI but I don't know uh, all right what are we researching automatic windshield wipers well that'll be nice um, that goes on door oh no door specialization comes next I'm gonna say that wouldn't go on door specialization I think it goes on fit windscreen Matter of fact, we can look on here and see right there, automatic windshield wipers. Great. Okay, so it takes $2,900. That'll be an easy investment. Uh, adding a little bit of time to this is not the end of the world. There's no no uh, bottleneck behind it or anything, so it's not like really need to worry about that. I haven't been paying close attention to our funds. Um, uh, but that's gonna that's gonna add value to our cars for sure. Our newer model with the automatic windshield wipers. Not really a luxury item, but let's see what uh, what um, hmm. I'd like to see kind of uh, the. Like the benefit of, uh, there's got to be somewhere where I can see what benefit having those uh, automatic windshield wipers on my car is like. Gives me a 40% 40, 40 premium? Hmm. I don't know. It's alright though, we got them. It's, it's what counts. Alright, where's our backlog? Our backlog seems to be on the steering assembly. That's right, because we need to duplicate that as well. Um, we're going to end up producing more cars than we can sell again, though, if we uh, if we uh, do the steering assembly. But kind of, you know what I mean? Like we're we're in the business of selling cars, so we should try to sell as many as we can just the nature of what we're doing. So we'll get those going through. We need a resource conveyor there. Close that down. That'll speed that up. I 
guess you guys could probably use your predictive stock control upgrades. There we go. Alright, so these guys, they're burning through there. Still backing up over at this area. And that's pushing the backlog all the way back. So I could set up a third... Um, set up a third of uh, these drying guys, dry undercoat. Oh, good, door specialization. That's, that's gonna be real handy. Uh, let's slow the game down a little bit here. Um, so I wanna start working on some of these things now. Uh, electric windows, great. Uh, then we're gonna wanna bust out environmental features. Leather interior, sunroof, security features, central locking, car alarm. Okay. All right. Then we'll be caught up with the competition for the most part. Very long queue. That's all right, though. We've got got a lot of people working on doing research. Okay. Uh, so I was going to do the paint thing here. Uh, dry undercoat, right? Okay, dry undercoat right there. Dry finish right there. Conveyors going off of here, down and over, and then uh, down. All right, and over. Very nice. Oh, lost a car though. Always lose a car when you do that. It's Think they would have fixed that by now. Um, out and down and over. Very good. Okay. That'll get those cars through a lot faster. And then we can see, I bet you the bottleneck is still going to be the door thing over here. Oh boy. Down to $130,000. Really having to reduce our uh, budget car here. Um, do I have to research individual feature pricing? Hmm. It's okay. Huh. Doesn't seem to include the... How do I get the bonus for that individual feature pricing? Because right now we're not really making much money on these cars. Alright, well that bottleneck is gone. Good. So our bottleneck seems to be... QC? Fitting electronics? I don't know. It actually seems like these guys are moving them through pretty much at speed. This is getting caught up. This is getting caught up. Looks like doors. Hmm. Looks like this paint, maybe. Yeah, paint undercoat. Air conditioning. Okay. Well, we will uh, try to get uh, try to get that set up as well. Give me give me a break, game. I cannot upgrade uh, the fit window slot because I need to have it in the fit windows. That's fine. I don't need to choose another research project, though. We are, we are all set on that. So I'm going to have to break these bad boys down. Um, we are good. So the profits seem to be coming in. Still have a long time to go on repaying these loans, though. Uh, once we get these loans repaid, like they are eating up our cash, and it's too bad you can't pay them off early. Um, not that, not that we have enough money to pay any of them off early, but, you know, it would be nice if we could. Um, but, yeah, we're definitely going to want to break those down and into their components, um, which I th think we estimate it costs about $160,000. So, so we probably could do that right now. Um, we've got several things set up, so I'm going to actually shut that down. We're going to work all these through so we don't lose them. It's too bad that we're going to lose all the components and, and uh, 
stuff that we've got piled up in here, unfortunately. There's really no salvaging those. I mean, I suppose what I could do is... Put a... Uh, no, 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 I need to... I need to take these out because of... Um, because the... Uh, to put the special features in there, huh? Alright, so let's slow the game down. Let's go here. Oh, that, that actually got us a pretty good refund tearing all that stuff down, so I'm happy to see that. So this is fit bodies, fit doors. Alright, so fit wing mirrors. Right there. Fit windows. And fit door panels. Alright. Oh, that's a big one. We'll put that right there. That's fine. And uh, then we're going to run the conveyor there, there, there. And then all I need to do is resource conveyor, which we're actually going to run from up here. So we're going to connect that one up, connect that one up, connect that one up. Next slot. Did I put them in backwards? Oh, I did put them in backwards. Well, shit. So much for making money. Uh, uh, for uh, being uh, financially uh, stable, huh? Um, Alright, so you're going to go like that. Kind of have the resource conveyor set up properly. Um, so regular conveyor is going to go like that. There we go. Thank you. Um, so that is fit door panels, right? Fit windows. Kind of backed myself into a corner with this thing. That's all right. Uh, fit windows right there, maybe. It's kind of ugly. I will do it. Um, resource conveyor, come off like that. Regular conveyor, I go uh, like that. Uh, very good. Um, and then you're going to come out of here like that. And we're going to do the final. So that's fit windows, fit wing mirrors right here. Very good. And we're going to, oh, if you guys ever saw my Factorio Let's Play series, first off, thank you because nobody watched it. Um, but if you did watch it, uh, you know that I love spaghetti, and uh, nothing says spaghetti like um, any factory that I make. So there you go. You're welcome. That was that was definitely worth going to that that trouble. All right, car upgrade purchased. Yep, does not mean it will do it unless you've also selected that upgrade as one to be fitted in the car design screen. Okay, so I need to. Do that as well, do I? So if we go to car design screen, aha, ah, got it. Okay, very nice. So I need to manually include these, but why wouldn't I? Um, and that is going to definitely give a big boost to our, so right now it's a $16,000 car and that bumps it up to a 17, oh, okay, so that's huge, all right. Oh, I like that. All right, now let's see how it gets through here. So I might end up having to like duplicate this because this is looking like it's going to be our bottleneck at this point. Um, let's upgrade that slot. We still have, oh yeah, we still have several uh, researches to do. Um, I'm going to uh, purchase some power supply because we have uh, plenty of cash at this point and need for power supplies. So do that, another one there, one there. Self-sufficient. Um, not backing up through here yet. So it kind of seems like what I've done is slowed down the, uh, 
Yeah. If I want to redo this fit windows thing, though, I'm going to have to tear both of these down and run that line through there. Because I think I'm going to have to duplicate fit windows. Uh, mostly because of just how long it has to wait to get the components in, which is frustrating. Um, but that's all right. Uh, there we go. It would be nice if it would just include these things automatically. Oh, why doesn't it include them automatically? Does it take away from... Uh... Now what's... Oh, huh. It's kind of cool that you have additional colors. I think you unlock the colors by getting... Um, by getting... Yeah, there we go. Achievements. So I'll have to get more achievements to unlock some of those colors. That's pretty neat. Uh, but I don't... Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Seems like they're just printing them out in, you know, kind of whatever random color. Unless, now is it going to print them all out in that... Uh... Oh, it is. Well, what if I want to go back to it, just prints them all out in... Oh, I can choose which colors it will print them out in. Interesting. Okay, well that's fine. You can print them all out in, in all colors. Middle of the road outputs. Steering your company in the right direction. 100 cars in 10 hours. And that unlocks some other variation of blue. Cool, I guess. All right, though, I feel pretty good. Um, Sure, we had half a million dollars not too long ago, and we're down to under four hundred thousand uh, dollars. But oh, we did just spend a bunch of money on uh, spend a bunch of money on uh, power plant production. So uh, that should prove to be a good investment. Yeah, yeah. It looks like our cash is still on the increase, um, but we we definitely need to redo this. This the way I set this up was not the best. Plan. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna start the start the the setup for uh, redoing that. Although I guess I could have chunked it off right there, but it doesn't really matter. We'll just we'll let these things all get through. Um, and hmm, I'm kind of thinking ahead what we're gonna want to research next. Robots. I mean, we kind of need to keep up on the... Uh, I, I, it feels like we need to keep up on the... Um, on... Uh, um, the, the features, because they are getting really ahead of us on features, and we're kind of struggling to keep up with that. All right, so fit door panels. Um, that's on fit body. Fit doors. So it's fit door panels, then fit windows, and that's the one that we want to double up on is fit windows. Uh, you definitely want to make sure that you leave enough room for a gap so you can have uh, uh, a little bit of a backup in your thing. Um, so I'm going to do them like this, yeah. And then after fit windows you have fit wing mirrors and we can, we're going to combine that one so we don't need the gap on that end of it. There we go, like that. Should be fine. All right, so you're going to come up like this. You're going to go over here, and you're going to split off. This is enough. Split off like that, and you're going to split off like that. And you're going to combine like that, and there, like that. And you'll come out, go over, connect in there. Connect. Connect. Quiet, you. You're going to connect in. All right, you know what? Just do that. That's better. All right. Uh, resource conveyor connected. Connected. You're connected. Looks like they're all connected. Uh, and you know what? I will do the upgrades and stuff in between episodes. Um, so that is it for this episode, you guys. I am feeling good about how things are going. How are you feeling? You know what? Leave me a comment in the comment section and or click that like button while you're down there. I do want to hear what you guys have to say. I hope you're enjoying this series. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.